I was perusing the Daily Mail and I came across this article. A high old time for the royals. See what he did there. Look at this headline. It's talking about one famous princess and one very respectable queen. This is a picture of a young Prince Harry smoking a cigarette at a wedding. And I know that because I looked up and found other photos from this event. After this whole Prince Grilliam thing where they put Prince William's head on his dead grandfather's body to show him cooking? Yeah, there's plenty of reason to suspect doctored photos of royals at this point. And we have the late queen's sister, Princess Margaret, and her ex-husband, Antony Snowden. Why is it being framed like this? Was it intentional that we only see smoke here and not the fact that there was a cigarette? This article has very little to do with Prince Harry and more to do with excerpts from an upcoming, you guessed it, book by a royal expert. It's a book involving royal scandals, specifically of the variety. Largely the excerpts in this piece have to do with Princess Margaret and Queen Victoria. So why does this article depend on photos of Prince Harry and why does it open with Prince Harry? It's because negative stories about the Sussexes in particular sell. Most people will just read the headline, look at the photos and share. Which is really a shame because if you read the first few paragraphs, you realize that the scandal around Prince Harry isn't about the rug taking. It's actually about the events that led up to it being published. It's a me- LOL JK. Prince Harry discusses the series of events in his book Spare, but well before that. There was this 2003 article from The Guardian all about Mark Boland. Mark Boland was the spin doctor for Camilla and Charles in the late 90s through early aughts. He was a huge factor in changing how Charles and Camilla operated with the press, how they used the press, how they used the kids for better press. What exactly did he spin? The timeline of events that led to these kind of stories in 2002, when Harry was still a teenager. Remember that whole, the British media was gonna back off of Diana's sons until they were out of school? Yeah, that rule was debatable depending on which brother you were talking about. And if there was an opportunity to make dad and future stepmom look good. That is just what Mark Boland did with this moment. As Boland recounts, he was struggling with then editor of the News of the World, Rebecca Wade, over this story. Not just about Harry, also William. Harry writes in spare that Charles's spin doctor, Mark Boland, decided, quote, the best approach in this case would be to spin me right under the bus. In one swoop, this would appease the editor and also bolster the sagging reputation of Pa. Amid all this unpleasantness, all this extortion and gamemanship, the spin doctor had discovered one silver lining, one shiny consolation prize for Pa. No more the unfaithful husband. Pa would now be presented to the world as the harried single dad coping with a rug-addled child. Olin decides to tell News of the World that Harry did visit a drug rehabilitation center in South London during that summer. The problem was that in order to do so, they had to fudge the timeline from the events of the summer of 2001. A teenage Harry talks about seeing that spread in January 2002. Not just the lies, but the accusation that he had gone to rehab. As Harry explains it, he and Marco were paying a visit to a suburban rehab center months prior, and it was a typical part of his princely charitable work that she had repurposed for another angle. Well, Harry does say that his brother William was maybe even angrier than he was about all of this because he'd been privy to some of the backroom dealings with the spin doctor, but also that nothing could be done. This is royal life. Royal life for Harry, let's be clear. Despite it all, you still have stories like this in 2024. This photo caption incorrectly states that Harry was ordered to visit a drugs rehabilitation clinic by his father. In the same way he was used as a teenager to make the best of a bad situation and bolster the reputation of his father, Harry is being used here to sell a book about royal scandals.